Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this short video tutorial is made in order to teach you how to make headings and table of contents with the correct page numbers. So I've been seeing and I've been observing students who are struggling when it comes to creating page numbers by identifying the correct page numbers of each entry of their uh, of the pages of their book or their thesis and so I will teach you how to make it using Microsoft Word. So here is how it's done. So of course, when creating your page number, the first part that you have to do is first to insert the page numbers. So this is very easy because the first thing that you need to do is to just have the content or each page of your book or of your thesis or your document to have page numbers. So let's say here is my uh, document. So uh, here is actually my short story that I've just written a week ago. So in order to have them uh, contain page numbers. So let me just copy this one. Okay, please wait for a sec. Then let's have here. Okay, so I have here now a separate document. All you need to do is to click insert and then click page number and then this time you will now have to decide where to put the page number do you want it on top of the page if you choose top of page you will see here the different layouts okay so bottom or would you like it in the page margin or would you like it in the current position where your cursor is at in my case i want the page numbers at the bottom part of the page and I want it at the center part. So I'll be uh, choosing play number two since the page is on the center part. So let me click this one out. And so you will see that at the footer part of your document, you'll see there the page numbers. Now, if you wanted to change, let's say the font size or font color of this, you just need to, let's say, um, I want it to be in Arial Black, okay, and then uh, in Color Red, let's say. So I want it, I want the page to be in Arial Black, Color Red, and that's it. All right, so we're done. So if you're going to look at all the documents, you'll see there that they all have the page numbers. All right, okay, so now how to make the headings so now we're done with uh using or we're done with actually creating or putting page numbers now this time we are going to discuss how to make the headings now in creating the headings you need to make use of these parts so i'm gonna teach you how to do that so let's go back to the document that i was um, trying to have page numbers on it so let us now have the headings in order to create the table of contents of your book or of your document so for example let's have this so i have here a document so i tried to compile all my short stories or some of my short stories and some of the poetry i created myself so in this case i want to separate the content between my short stories and my poetry so let's start so let's have this so let's say short stories so i have here the short stories so i want this to be the heading so i want this to be like the cover of all the short stories i have here so this is definitely my heading number one since it's the first so i'll just click home and then heading here and then i'm going to be clicking this now this is my heading one now i don't like it to be in color blue and i don't want it to be in calibri 16. so if you want to modify it you can just simply click heading one and then click or right click modify so if you click modify you can have it here so let's say i want it to be in Arial black and i want it to be in 30 font size and uh, uh, let's say I want it to be in a different color. Let's say I want it to be in uh, dark blue, let's say. And I want it to be in 
bold so in that case once you click ok it going or it's going to be like this now i want it to be let's say um much larger so i want it to be in 100 yeah perfect okay okay and then here you go so uh, actually you can also modify it to whatever sp uh, spacing or position you want it to be so if you want it to be in at the center part you can have it in the center part and then click ok then it's going to be ok now so if this is the case or let's see i want to remove this space okay so now i already have the short stories part so i want it to be in the next page so let's just click page break here so this is my first entry my first short story so of course this or dagok my first short story is under the short stories category or chapter so in this case it has to be heading number two so it should not be heading number one anymore so i want to click this into heading number two since it's under heading one already so if you want to modify it again let's say i want it to be in ariel again okay er, still ariel black okay um the font size of the last one was 100 so i want it to be in 50 should be in vo uh, bold and still the same color okay this one and then okay now there you go so i have here this one already okay or um i think it's a little too large so let's make it like 30. okay perfect okay there you go so i have here dagok okay this is my first short story which is under this one now for example i divided the short stories into different chapters okay or let's say different scenes or situations so let's say this is the chapter one and it's under the dagok now remember this story is in heading two so therefore this one is in heading number what yes you're right it's heading number three now so of course since this is under heading number two let's modify it to something that it, which is smaller so i want it to be in aerial still and bold chapter one perfect and then i have here chapter two which is under the same heading number two so it's heading number three and there you go so once you click the others with the same so you don't need to modify it every time because it will modify itself according to the format that you set it in so let's have okay this one i have the second short story the title is sakit ni katherine taboso this is not anymore under heading one or it's not actually under dagok anymore because it's another short story so this time it is uh, now under heading one which is the short story so this is going to be heading number two okay so heading number two and then it still has like chapters again so let's say this one is chapter one and this is heading number three since this is under this which is heading number two okay and then we have here um, another chapter two, which is under heading number two. So now this is heading number three. Okay, let's try to put the chapters with different uh, different titles. Let's first say chapter one, ang simula. Okay, and then let's say chapter two is ang revelation. Ah, no. Let's change it to Ang <laughs> Okay, this is just an example, by the way. Okay, so chapter one, let's say, Panimula. This is just a title. And then chapter two is Wakas. Okay, perfect. And then, I'm so I'm done with the short stories. This time, I will now have the poetry section. So here, since this is another heading, so this is not anymore under um under short story so this is another entry from your uh, from your document so this is still heading number one so let's change this to another heading number one there you go okay so 
like a page break here so as you can see class i don't need to modify it anymore because it follows the format i set in earlier okay so now i have the poetry and then i have my first poetry it's entitled tell me so this now is under heading number two okay and then the second one is still under heading number two okay there you go so uh now that you're done setting the headings because you set the label headings and the correct font size and font styles you will now be doing the table of contents so how are you going to do this this is as easy as a piece of cake you just need to click the table of contents so here i want the table of contents to be in the front page here so all you need to do is to go to the references okay i want you to watch closely okay so let's uh this 11 okay so i want you to watch closely here guys so look at the references part click the part or the part table of contents and then this is the same with the page number so you will see different formats and different styles of the table of contents that you want to look like so or that you want it to look like so in my case i want the second one so i'm gonna be clicking the second one and then there you go do you see that so i have here the table of contents you see under the short stories it's page two we have dagok okay and then chapter one ang simula chapter two ang katapusan after that we have sak sakit chapter one panimula chapter two wakas and then poetry i have here the different poetry now mom what happened why is ni catherine is here okay why is it like a different entry so we just need to change it like for example here because it was entered so let's have it this way dagok ni catherine etaboso so if you change something on the heading so you just need to click the table of contents and then click the update table so once you click that one out so app date the entire table and then you see how different it was so you'll see that dagok ni catherine taboso becomes a single entry in page three okay so for you not to be uh having a hard time locating the pages you just need to click it click and then hold the control button or the control key and then you will be redirected to this part okay for example another one let's try i want to go to let's say this is page 100 or 900 and then it would take time before you could uh, reach there so you just need to hold the control key and then click this one out and then you will be redirected in that part so you see okay let's go back to the table of contents you see the use of the headings subheadings like level one and then here so i want to change socket into um let's say i want it to be in all caps so uppercase socket and then when i get here it's not yet capitalized so i just want to update the table and then it becomes socket there all right so that's pretty much everything Okay, very easy so um, if there's something that you would still want to know so please let me know so this is like the basic so I'll be discussing uh, how to create captions and tables for your thesis and research and the references in my next video so thank you so much and I'll see you again on my next video